I got some of my backsplash in, almost all of it in. And I got my appliance covers and my exhaust vent put back on. All looks good. Color goes way better with the uh, the countertop color and the tile color than the old uh, white. So I'm happy with that. I think it turned out really good. Put the uh, that's the aluminum trim that I'm going to use along the uh, edges here to cover up because these stick-on tiles don't go all the way down to the bottom. Um, there's about a three quarters of an inch gap there, so I'm going to be using some angle aluminum to uh, trim that out. I think that'll look really good. Uh, basically like that right there. And uh, let's see what else. Yeah, you got everything painted up there, so it's looking good. They're going to let this countertop cure for um, maybe another day uh, before I do any more work on the inside, but I've got the, uh, the toilet um, in here. Uh, just need to get the flooring under it, and then I can mount that toilet in. I got the new seal and everything. Uh, it looks pretty good. Obviously, it's not installed yet, but that's the... The new toilet's foot flush, and uh, it's a much bigger bowl than the other, than the old one. Uh, porcelain, porcelain bowl. Obviously, it's plastic lid and stuff, but uh, it's a much nicer toilet than the uh, than the old one. I went ahead and ordered a new faucet um, for the sink. I'm not sure if I mentioned that before, but I got. Uh, Got that on order, so it should be here hopefully tomorrow. And um, that'll, one more day, these countertops curing, and then I can get the new uh, faucet uh, put in and uh, get the rest of this buttoned up. So I got a little bit of touch up paint I want to do, and then it's uh, flooring and slide out time. Got most of the flooring installed. I think it turned out pretty good that uh, vinyl peel and stick. And the countertops are all cured out. They've been drying for about five, four or five days now. So they're totally cured. Um, I'm gonna get my new uh, faucet installed. And uh, I got my toilet installed. Just finished that up. Nice full-size toilet, fits just fine. And the only issue is uh, the foot pedal, it's a foot flesh, and the only issue is it, it sort of rubs up against the tub, but it's not a big deal, and it still flushes fine. Got my vents installed, my I mean my vent covers, and, uh, and that one back there. I got, let's see, that wall painted and all of my uh, controls mounted, uh, remounted. So that's all buttoned up. I'm just waiting on my trim for the countertop and for around the uh, base of the floor. I got that three quarter inch uh, half round vinyl that's a... Uh, double back tape. And I think it would just go around these edges a little bit better than uh, what's there. So a little bit toasty in here today, but um, got quite a bit done. I still have to do this um, little uh, panel that's over the basement storage and the step uh, that uh, cover for the uh, uh, fresh water tank. So that uh, still needs to be done, but that's pretty minor. Should only take maybe a you know, half hour, 45 minutes to do those. And um, yeah, and then I can get uh, you know a few other things buttoned up before the slide out goes in. So just need to get my new wiper seal installed on the outside and uh, the bulb seal installed here on the inside. So uh, get that stuff done. It's a little bit breezy today, so I don't want to pull this. I've got this netting up um, to keep the dust and the bugs and stuff out. Uh, I don't want to pull that off just yet, just because it's it's windy and I don't want a bunch of dirt and garbage getting up in here. So I'll uh, wait until this evening or uh, tomorrow morning before I do that. 
All right, so this morning I'm uh, doing some aluminum trim work. Uh, I've got the uh, aluminum trim on the bulkhead, the rear bulkhead here. And I'm doing the uh, trim on the front of where the uh, water tank, fresh water tank cover is, and then the lid to the basement. Uh, and the lid to the basement is, um, it's got a, a little uh, dog leg in it and I'll show you how I have to bend this aluminum. I don't want to do two pieces. I'd, I'd like to do, you know, one continuous piece. So, you know, like our, it doesn't cut our feet if there happens to be a, you know, a sharp edge or something like that, or, you know, something gets caught on it and rips a bag or, you know, just be nice to have one piece, one seamless piece across this edge here. I'll show you. So this is the cover uh, the lid for the basement so you lift this up and that's where all the storage is of course the slide out will be out of the way um, so I need to do this bend right here um, I've got a little piece of wood cut out there that's this same angle and I'm gonna try to uh, anneal the aluminum so I'm gonna heat it up uh, pretty hot uh, with my torch and then spray it with water. Um, I'm not going to dunk it in water because of the, it's, you know, right in the middle of a long piece. So uh, I'm just going to spray it with water and then I'm going to form it around my form that's the same angle. Let's see how that works. So here I have my little jig set up uh, with the same angle and my piece of aluminum. I have just marked out where I need to heat up. So I just need to heat this area here all the way around, both sides, front and back, and then um, clamp it to the form here and just gently, uh, well, I'll spray it with water and that'll, you know, kind of loosen up the aluminum a little bit and then gently push it into that area there um, and hopefully get a good uh, tight form fit. I'm just gonna Slowly heat up this one area. Then when I've got that hot, I'm going to spray it with a little bit of water. And then stick it on my form. Gently push. All right, this thing's still super hot, but. It's, uh, there you go. Clean it up a little bit. All right, let's see how this thing fits. <clears throat> see, that's pretty doggone close with some adhesive and the screws. Nothing All right, so that edge is done. I think it turned out pretty good. That angle turned out nice, all one piece. Looking good. I got that piece done. And uh, of course, I did this piece the other day. I think that turned out nice instead of that junky white stuff that I'm just like, you know this stuff here this was actually in pretty good shape so i'm leaving this um i might replace it at some point but it doesn't need it right now i think that aluminum turned out really good so happy with that uh yeah a couple of little odds and ends things left to do on the inside um uh, and then i'm going to start putting the uh, new uh, wiper seal on the outside and the uh, de-seal here on the inside and uh, get this slide out actually uh, measured out and, and bolted up to the slide out mechanism and uh, make sure that you know we're all square get it shimmed if we need to shim it and uh, yeah start uh, buttoning up the outside with the t-molding and and the new de-seal on the uh, exterior t-molding as well so yeah that's next Got the kitchen mini blind reinstalled. It's the, the top bottom kind, so it's kind of nice to be able to 
have the privacy down low or up high if you want. So we got that up and got the uh, refrigerator panels painted and installed. Those are just the original wood panels that I uh, painted with some gloss black to match what I did with the other appliances. I think it turned out pretty good. All right, so I've started installing the new wiper seal and uh, I've got the top piece on. I've decided to do um, the new wiper seal on the outside of the camper. The old wiper seal was on the inside wall and I never understood why they did that uh, because water can still get in um, you know, to the inside part of the wall. So I decided to put the wiper seal on the outside and on the top part, I'm extending it out past the slide out three inches on each side, uh, past the slide out opening. And then the side pieces, these side pieces here will get tucked up underneath that top piece. And then the bottom piece will be behind the side pieces so all of the rainwater will shed away from the opening nothing will will get in um, past the wiper seal so i think that's going to be a much better way to do it i'm going to throw a couple of uh, self-tapping screws on the outside edges just to kind of hold it in place and then uh, get my uh, side pieces in all right so a couple of self-tappers put in and then uh, of course after everything's all in uh, all of the wiper seal, I'm going to go along the top, around all the edges with uh, some Dicor non-sag. Okay, all the new wiper seal is put up with the overlap. And uh, I used an adhesion promoter and then peeled the uh, 3M backing off and it sticks really well. I went ahead and just to add some extra security, went along about every foot or so with some stainless steel screws and uh, went into that frame as well. And now it's time to start aligning the slide out. All right, so we've already squared the slide out with the side of the camper. I'm gonna go ahead and run it out just a little bit. <laughs> and um, get the, the slide out up onto the slide out mechanism. And I need to shim the uh, underneath the, the floor between the floor and the slide out mechanism. Because if you recall on one of my first tear out videos when I was pulling the slide out, out um, there were the gear marks um, from this gear uh, in, the, in the rack. Um, grinding into the bottom of the floor on that uh, old Luon. You can see that the teeth on that are raised just a little bit through. Of course, they have to be um, in order to grab a hold of it. But on these mounting holes, on each of these mounting holes, I will need to raise, I'll need to just put a washer in there to raise it up just that little bit on each one of these holes to uh, prevent that gear from grinding into the new floor underneath. So let's go ahead and get that thing lifted up on here. All right, it's partially up onto the slide out mechanism, but what I need to do now is get these inside T-molding strips put on and I can't have it bolted down to the floor because I have to slide it around to get to these um, to get to the screws because they do screw from the outside wall and the face uh, and then there's a big piece of aluminum uh, angle that goes across the top and of course each side I'll get those on and then we can square everything up and get it bolted in, uh, shimmed and bolted in. All right, so these were the old uh, T-molding pieces for the inside. That's that faux wood trim. And I'm doing the uh, composite. I've already cut them to length and to width. 
So now I just need to uh, measure in um, where these, uh, this angle aluminum goes and uh, get them mounted with screws and adhesive to the back side of the new trim pieces and then we can get them in uh, on the inside of the new slide out. And got both of my T-molding bolsters cut for the sides and that'll allow me to uh, get this thing squared up and bolted down to the slide out mechanism and then I can run the slide out out um, tighten everything down once it's square and then this exterior wall can go in um, and after the exterior walls in then I can get the uh, this top piece in okay I've got the uh, slide out squared and clamped in place and I'm going to run my uh, inside screws from underneath uh, just to hold it in place and then I've already got my shims in here I'll go out and uh, put my shims in and put two more lag screws on the outside and then check for square again and then I'll uh, run the rest of the screws in okay I've got these uh, just a couple tacked in here with the shims and now I'm going to run the slide out back out just a little bit and get this uh, exterior wall set. Alright, so I used adhesive behind each one of these seams here, where the sidewall meets the face wall and used three inch coated screws to go through uh, and through the face wall into the side wall and uh, up top here we've got this angle bracket and that's got sealant or uh, adhesive sealant all underneath that as well i just need to clean up the excess All right, so for now, <clears throat> I can move my platform out of the way so I can run the slide out out and get the uh, lower bolts that fasten the slide out mechanism to the face wall and the floor from uh, underneath. I'll get my, my lower wiper seal installed and then that's probably it for the day. I got my last piece of uh, trim T-molding for the interior. The cut and got the aluminum screwed and glued and got my adhesive on this side ready to be mounted onto the inside edge of the slide out so I'm gonna go do that right now <laughs> 